Well, sadly, for those who are exposed to the elements, I'm afraid that the clouds have opened up and it is teeming down here. There are some fans who are going to get very, very wet. Having said which, there are almost no empty seats. It is a terrific turnout under the circumstances. There's nowhere else to go, in truth, if you want to see this much-anticipated game. So, come rain or come shine, we are here and really looking forward to it. We are in this super stadium for a super club, truly one of the iconic buildings of 21st century sport, the Allianz Arena. Now, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We'd like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And that gets things running. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Marco Verratti. He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate. He's had a goal! What a wonderful goal! What a start and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Simplicity itself. It's really a problem when that much time is afforded for technical bombs. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Paris Saint-Germain didn't expect this, that's for sure. What can they do now? Conte. Kolasinac. Silva. Conte. Silva. And here's Mauro Icardi! It's there! Paris Saint-Germain are back on level terms. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Icardi needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. Has a pop! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then, and I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. And the through ball is intercepted. Kante plays it forward. Marco Verratti. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick.
And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And back to base. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Looks to clip it forward. Little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Barcelona seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Stones tries to get it forward quickly. It's come loose. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Vardy. That's put paid to a promising move. Conte. Referee's given a throw. It's Kolasinic. Sterling has a goal! And it's half-time here. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. Barcelona head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each. And the game right on edge. So it's back to business. Rudiger drives it forward. Paris Saint-Germain disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Well, that had to be more accurate. Kyle Walker. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. And the weighted pass. Got offside that time. Gets it upfield. Bruno Fernandes. Mesut Ozil. He's through. Oh, he's broken through. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Hoists it forward. Now it's Icardi. And it's Kolasinic. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. And it's played forward. Vardy. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Sterling. Nicely measured pass. And Icardi! Goal! Paris Saint-Germain! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! 
Well, that always looked the likely outcome. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pass to, to pick him out. Paris Saint-Germain go into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend. But he's gone for it! And yes, it's there! And that really is so, so impressive. Oh, look, it's always great to see a solo effort with a goal. It's the ideal combination of pace and control. So all square and not for the first time. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. And it's Conte. Ball is over the line. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. It's going to be a double change then. <laughs> now it's Vardy. Let down by a lack of accuracy. Marco Verratti. Silva. David Silva goes looking. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Greenwood has got himself a free kick. Rudiger is there, and he can get that clear. Out for a throw in. Uh, it's a poor throw that picked off with relative ease. Barcelona showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Icardi making use of the space out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. Oh, looks like he's been taken out there. That's a foul, it could be a penalty. Oh, the protests are futile, the decision is made. Late, late drama. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Together. Oh, Peter, I, I'm not a great reader of body language, but I didn't like the way he walked up to that. <laughs> great leap! Yes, he's done it! Late in the day, this could well be it! A great delivery and a finish to match. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Paris Saint-Germain take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Stokes. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Barcelona just couldn't kill it off. They let their opponents back into it and let it get away. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Barcelona really were sleepwalking in central defence, and the alarm just never went off. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.